the horizontal axis is known as our normal stress. Okay, so what does it mean from zero normal stress towards the right? Means this side is what positive, so it's tensile. Over this side is negative, means it's compressive or compression. And the center is zero. Okay, so for this case, we have. We have, so another thing I'm going to tell you, the, the y-axis is the shearing stress, okay? Now, the shearing stress, positive and negative, does not mean anything, okay? Later on, I'll explain to you why. However, when you draw the shearing stress, you need to make sure that the top, the shearing stress is going in a clockwise direction. At the bottom, the shearing stress is going in a negative direction, uh, or anti-clockwise direction, okay? So this is for shearing stress, okay? So at the top, from zero to the top, the shearing stress is going clockwise. At the bottom, the shearing stress is going anti-clockwise, okay? So based on the condition over here, where stress X is greater than stress Y, all are positive, we can draw two lines. So this is your stress X. Over here is your uh, stress Y, stress Y line, okay? For this case, because the shearing stress is equal to zero, okay? And I want you to have a habit to label this as your point X, over here as your point Y, okay? So point X on most circle, on the element point X on most circle, point X is over here. Okay? And then on the other side, Point Y is over here. Why is it writing on the uh, why is it on the zero line? Because the shear stress on this element is equal to what? Zero. Okay. So from here you can take your compass, you can draw a circle. Okay. And then uh, at your circle, this is the center of your circle. which is your point O, from zero to point O, this is known as your stress average. Okay, from zero to the center, that is your point or your stress average. And stress average can be determined by just doing a very simple sum, stress X plus by stress Y divided by two, okay? And your, uh, your stress average is also known as the center of circle, okay? So that is your, your mole circle, okay? So this is your element, okay? your element, you relate to your mole circle, okay? I'll let you guys have like one minute to copy, okay? Jason, you are uh, bringing out a very good point, okay? So that is where we use small circle, even though there's a torsion, we can orientate them, okay, in such that the, the shear is equal to zero. Okay, later on, okay, you're asking the right question, okay? And Julio, your response is also correct, okay? 
Okay, then the next one is we are going to look at again a, a, a different case. Okay, so we have an element. All right. So over here, this is your stress X. Now your stress Y is coming in in a different direction. Okay. So when it's pulling away, we call it positive. So we call it tensile. When it's pushing down, we call it uh, negative. It's compression. Okay. So likewise, have the habit of calling this surface over here point X and this surface over here point Y. Okay. So, so now we know that stress X is positive, which is tensile, stress Y is negative, that's compression. So now so this is normal stress. Okay, one you have to have the habit to draw this shear stress element rotate clockwise, shear stress element rotate anti-clockwise. Okay. Then from here, this is your stress X, then somewhere around here. This is your stress Y, and this is our zero. Okay, so you know that oh, on, on the left hand side of the zero, this is compression for normal stress. All right. And this side is tensile. Okay. So now you also know that over here, this is your point X. Over here, this is your point Y. Okay, so from here, you can draw a circle. I'm going to try to draw a circle. Okay. And then at the center over here, this is known as your stress average now. Okay, so stress average is measured from, from zero, okay? And then I'm going to introduce you to an, another point, okay? So it's the radius of the circle. So the radius, because point O, point o is the center of the circle, okay? This over here is equal to the uh, uh, to your radius of circle. So the radius of the circle the, the, the radius of your circle is known as your tau max. Yeah, it's your uh, maximum shearing stress. Okay. Now I want you to focus on two uh, points I don't know down if it's here. just me. But uh, a couple of people in chat are saying as well that uh, the video is frozen for them. Oh. Is it, is it very badly? Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's just, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's might be back. I, I think, okay, I think what I'll do is, how, how bad is it? Yes, yes. So how, how long was I frozen? Uh, just like maybe 10, 15 seconds. It wasn't that long, but. Uh... Okay. All right, all right. So what I'll do during the break, okay, I will reboot my my network, okay? I will not end the meeting. I'll reboot the net, network so you cool down, okay? Yeah, I was let it go, okay, frozen. <laughs> okay. When, when, when I freeze, tell me, okay? Don't, don't type because I can't see you type. Tell me, Eugene. You're frozen, okay? Now there are there are, there are two points that I want to 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 you have to take note, okay? So it is these two points over here, okay? And this points also. Hey, now I'm drawing uh, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> okay? So what we realize where point X and Y are, what we realize that point X and point Y, right, have zero 
shearing strips. Okay. They have zero shearing stresses. So these points, are known as principal stresses. Okay, they are known as principal stresses. Okay, so you realize that in the principal stress, you realize that the principal stresses have zero shear stress which is ideal Okay, ideal or uh, which is perfect for carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Right? Zero shearing stress. Okay. Right? So you, you want to lay your carbon fiber on, 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 on mobile circle on this line because shearing stress is equal to what? Zero. Okay. So principal stress, next principal stresses are labeled as stress one and stress two. Okay, you normally see them. So if, if, if for, for this case over here, right, this is our stress one. Okay, over here, this is our stress too. It can flip over, so it does not matter. Okay, I, I will flip over. Okay, so this is my uh, stress one, and this is my stress two. Does not matter. Okay, so what I propose is we go for a break, okay, for a 15 minutes break, and when we come back, okay, as I said, I, I will reboot my network, okay, and when we come back, we come back at 15 and we continue with sharing stress. Okay.